Good morning everyone, here is our latest video update on Typhoon Fan Fun on this Friday morning, October 3rd, 2014 and we continue to watch the system as it nears the Japanese islands but we also have to watch uh, this system well to the east right now in the uh, Caroline Islands. This is Tropical Depression 19W just upgraded by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center this morning could pose a threat to the Northern Mariana Islands including the island of Guam. So let's first focus on Typhoon Fanfan which is a category 3 typhoon according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It has undergone an, uh, an owl replacement cycle overnight. It has actually weakened uh, slightly but you can see uh, a large eye is beginning to take over. Um, uh, compared to the images yesterday the eye was really small. It was a pinhole eye. Uh, it That died and uh, now a new eye wall has taken over and as you can see again on this latest visible satellite image you can see that large eye beginning to uh, take shape. Uh, the system was last located approximately 930 kilometers southeast of the island of Okinawa, still well south of the uh, mainland Japan. Maximum sustained winds according to the Japan Meteorological Agency are at 175 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 250 kilometers per hour. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center using the uh, one-minute sustained wind estimates are up to 205 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 250, making Fanfan a Category uh, 3 typhoon in the Sefer Simpson scale. The system is currently moving northwestward at 20 kilometers per hour, but is forecast to turn more to the north in the next 12 to 24 hours. Looking at the animated infrared loop, you can see that again that small eye beginning to uh, that small eye eroding and the larger new eye beginning to take over. You can also see that strong convective activity remain uh, especially to the southern uh, half of the circulation. Uh, now that the owl replacement cycle is nearing its completion, we expect Fanfan to uh, regain intensity and should resume intensifying over the next 12 to 24 hours. We still have some pretty good. Uh, outflow as you can see here and also the sea surface temperatures around the region are still conducive for tropical cyclone development. Now as far as the system's track you can see here in the cluster of the uh, computer model forecasts uh, that uh, the consensus is beginning to uh, get closer and we're becoming more and more confident as to the eventual track of the system. Uh, we now think uh, Fanfun should stay well east of Okinawa tonight but could still impact the Daito Islands uh, beginning this afternoon and into tomorrow morning. And it should track north and then recurve to the northeast as a mid-latitude trough moves in from the, uh, from the west here. Uh, that should steer Fanfan to the northeast, uh, perhaps uh, raking the main island of Honshu as we move into uh, Sunday evening and into Monday, possibly as a very strong Category 3 a typhoon around that time. Likely impacts obviously will be the strong and damaging winds especially along the southern coast of Honshu and even parts of Shikoku and Kyushu could see those stormy uh, conditions uh, impact the area by uh, say Sunday and again into Monday. But again the, the main uh, strongest of the uh, conditions will be felt along the southern coast of Honshu perhaps around the Chubu and Kinki regions uh, the cities of Nagoya, Osaka, and especially Tokyo uh, could feel the brunt of fun fun in the coming days. And looking at the latest uh, rainfall forecast from the uh, rain rainfall uh, accumulated precipitation output from the GFS model, you can see here that the model is uh, showing anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of rainfall over the next four days. That translates to about 200 to as much as 400 millimeters. We could see even higher amounts along the mountainous areas in uh, some of the places out here. And looking at the latest forecast track beginning with the Japan Meteorological Agency again showing uh, the system tracking northwestward and then taking that turn to the northeast making landfall here and brushing the southeastern part of Honshu again JMA showing a track right across the Tokyo metro area as you move into the early morning hours of uh, Monday. And here we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center again show showing similar track over the next 24 to 48 hours, but it's taking a much uh, taking a much southern southerly track compared to the JMA, showing Fanfun avoiding a direct landfall into the mainland Japan. However, we are still expecting those stormy 
conditions to impact the region uh, over the next uh, few days. So you can also see here Joint Typhoon Warning Center expecting Fan Fanfan to re-intensify a bit, perhaps become a cat Category 4 typhoon as you move into tomorrow. Uh, and so we encourage everyone living across the eastern coast of Kyushu, along, the par uh, along uh, Shikoku, and even mo most especially uh, across Honshu to, again, please prepare now and always see the warnings of your local officials. Uh, we expect those uh, conditions to begin impacting Kyushu and Shikoku by tomorrow and eventually move into uh, the mainland, uh, in the big island of Honshu as you move into Sunday evening and into the early parts of uh, Monday. Uh, Tokyo as well definitely should brace for the uh, for potential typhoon force winds uh, brought about by FanFan as we move into Monday morning and into the afternoon hours. That's the update for FanFan. We want to briefly touch upon on the newest tropical depression here. This is tropical depression 19W moving still around, still east of uh, of uh, Guam as of this moment. It's moving near the Caroline Islands, located approximately 170 kilometers northeast of the island of Pompeii. Maximum sustained winds are at 55 km per hour with gusts of up to 75 km per hour according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. The system is currently moving westward at 20 km per hour but as you can see in this latest satellite image the system is beginning to take shape with that uh, well-defined low-level circulation center and that strong convective activity. Uh, again, wrapping around that center. Uh, conditions in the region are favorable for development and we expect the system to steadily intensify over the next few days and could pose a threat to the Mariana Islands as you move into the weekend and early parts of next week. And you can see here the cluster of the computer model showing again that generally west-northwesterly track and again moving near to the north, uh, moving towards the northern Mariana Islands over the next few days, perhaps moving the same path as Fanfan did uh, a few days ago and the computer models again showing a uh, steady intensification over the next few days could even become a typhoon as it hits the uh, as it hits the islands uh, by uh, Sunday and into Monday here we have the joint typhoon warning centers uh, preliminary forecast track and uh, pretty much staying with a consensus among the computer models showing that west northwesterly track uh, perhaps moving just north of Saipan and north of Guam as you move into uh, Sunday evening and into early Monday morning, perhaps to become a typhoon just as it moves out of Micronesia, uh, I'm sorry, the Mariana Islands, and perhaps steadily intensify as it moves into the Philippine Sea uh, by early next week. Uh, still too early to tell where the system will, will eventually head towards, but um, we are growing more and more confident of potential sto tropical storm force conditions at least, to impact the islands here in uh, the Marianas uh, over the next few days. Uh, so uh, again, aside from FanFan, we'll definitely continue to watch this system as it develops. But that concludes our video update for this morning. You can head out to our websites, Western Pacific Weather, and also our blog as we will continue to post updates over the next few days, especially FanFan, this very strong and dangerous typhoon moves towards the uh, main islands here in Japan and also will also uh, also give an update on this newly uh, developed tropical system tropical depression 19w as it could pose a threat to the Mariana Islands over the next few days uh, stay safe and we'll see you in our next update